And it was once the crown jewel of Detroit. Tonight, new concerns about the safety of the Packard plant. We'll start there at 11. Good to have you with us tonight. It stood for more than 100 years, but this afternoon, the iconic Packard plant bridge came crashing down onto East Grand Boulevard on the city's east side. Yeah, let's take a live look above the Packard plant where the bridge collapsed. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. Jermont Terry is live on the ground there. And Jermont, any idea how long it'll take to remove all the debris there? Kimberly, there's no idea how long it will take to clear this all up. But as you know, today, a heavy piece of Detroit history came crashing down. When the Packard plant opened in 1903, at the time, it was considered the most modern car manufacturing facility worldwide. The plant operated on Detroit's east side until 1958. Like losing an old friend. Marvin Keene is a self-proclaimed Packard plant historian. He rushed to East Grand Boulevard after learning the old pedestrian bridge came crashing down. This plant for Packard guys is like the pyramids are to an Egyptologist. So this for us is uh, close to being sacred ground. That ground is now soaked and the bridge destroyed. Security noticed pieces of the brick crumbling onto the ground. When I back the speed up, that's when I turned around and I seen the whole bridge fall down. RT Express purchased most of the plant six years ago and plans are underway to revitalize the area. It owns one building the bridge was connected to. The city owns the other. But as for that bridge... Jointly owned by us and the city is, I guess, the best way you could uh, put it. Construction crews were working on the property at the time. So could that have led to the collapse after all these years? I would say very low likelihood of anything of that nature. And while the boulevard is closed due to the bridge collapsing, let's keep in mind that there are other streets that run underneath the old Packard plant. Streets that are closed tonight because the city isn't too sure just how safe it is for anyone to walk or drive their car underneath it. You know, you just driving by and see that to come down. I'm glad no one was back there. And thankfully, no one was injured when this bridge came coming down, came falling down. From that vantage point from our live camera from up top, you can see that crews are out tonight, but it will take some time to clear this out because keep in mind that that bridge was strong enough that in fact cars and car parts could go across it. And after all these years, it is still heavy steel beams that they have to clear away before they can get this road back open. For now, reporting live on the city's east side, I'm Jermont Terry, Local 4.